Good morning, beautiful friends. Happy day after Thanksgiving. Today is a very big day because we are going somewhere that's going to be super fun and right up our alleys. So I used to work at Disney. I worked at both Walt Disney World and Disneyland. It was so much fun and I was just a grade A Disney adult for a very long time. In the past few years, I haven't worked there, but that doesn't mean I don't have a lifelong love and affinity for theme parks. So we're not quite going to Disney per se, but we are going to a theme park today. We're going to a place called Europa Park. It's the biggest theme park in Germany. What's cool about Europa Park is that all of the lands are themed as different European countries, which I think is brilliant and something that just needed to be done. Like every country in Europe has its own theming and branding. Um, if you, you know, go to any of these cities, you notice within the gift shops, they all have little like symbols or colors or different things that they lean into. And obviously that's derived from culture and themes, traditions, things like that. So I really love that they put all of these details into a theme park because theme parks are just the place where different themes and concepts can come alive, right? So I'm really excited to check this out. And I just, I can't wait to see what it is. There's a lot of hype around it. There's also a Epcot ball <laughs> symbol in Europa Park. I don't exactly know the history of that. I probably need to look that up at some point today um, as to why they have an Epcot ball here in Europe, but I love it. I'm so excited. Interestingly, the park is only open from 11 to seven. So love that for me, for my stamina. However, we only have one day here. I hope it's gonna be enough time. Um, most people say to stay for two days, so we'll see. We'll see how we do. Hopefully with our theme park knowledge, we'll be able to navigate quickly, but who really knows because every theme park is different. So I'm gonna get ready. We're gonna go to the park. I'm gonna show you all around. And so you can see, you know, if you have been to Disney before, make some comparisons to what it's like, or just look at it as a whole new, completely different thing. I'm really excited. I think it's gonna be so much fun. So thanks for coming along with me. We're gonna do our makeup. And now we're ready to fuel up and go get some breakfast before our Europa Park day. So we're staying at the Foresight Hotel Ringshine, which is like only a few minutes away from Europa Park. And it was less than $100 a night. Very nice, brand new, just opened in February. So let's go check out this breakfast. Steven says it's really good. over to Europa Park from our hotel. It's only about a nine minute drive. They do have a shuttle though, which is good, but parking's only eight euro here, so that's a deal in our eyes. So we're just driving ourselves. I'll take it. I'll take it. I can't wait. We're already getting our first sights of Europa Park. There's the Coliseum. <laughs> Too funny. I'm obsessed with this already. This is so much fun. That's Ed. There's, hey Ed. Hey Ed. Woohoo. There's always gotta be a mouse hosting the theme park event, you know? <laughs> Here it is. Oh. oh my 
my gosh, oh it's my beautiful. God. Look at this little archway. Oh boy, this is gonna be fun. It's the Epcot ball, but it's not. Wow, so first impression. Amazing. This is stunning. I caught a fall leaf. I'm having fun already. <laughs> you and your leaves. I'm loving this. There's so much detail. You would think we're at another theme park that I'm not gonna mention anymore. <laughs> Just kidding, I probably will. I gotta pee already, take a video. Bye! <laughs> so yeah, first impressions, I think this is gonna be a blast. It's just like, it's the two best things combined. It's Europe and a theme park in one. The decor is amazing, it's already like mind blowing. So I don't even know what ride we're gonna head to. We don't really have an official plan, so. The biggest tip that we know so far from our waiter yesterday at a restaurant in Heidelberg is that he said to go where other people are not going because um, everyone apparently goes like the same direction of the park in the morning. So if we can go a different direction, then that will probably be best. And apparently the lines don't get very long either. He said if it's more than like 30 minutes, go somewhere else and come back and it should be shorter. So we'll test the method. We'll see how accurate that is but I'm excited. Okay, I'm back. back. Like a golden retriever that's too excited, I had to pee. I know, I, that's fair. All right, we gotta go. Let me see the map. <laughs> There's only a few things to do here. Okay, we have eight hours. All right, let's make a count. In Liechtenstein, Greece, France, Germany, Ireland. My head's blocking the wall. This is exciting. It's so beautiful though, isn't it? Love it. Wow. It's so good. Wow! You know, just an open fire. Never in America. That's nice. Are you eating a croissant? I'm eating something. <laughs> So the first ride I wanted to do was the Pirates of Batavia ride. I'm probably pronouncing Batavia wrong, but for obvious reasons. So it's in the Holland section. Let's go check it out. Let's go see what else we can find. I love a good bonfire and a theme park. <laughs> I've heard good things about this ride.
crazy. I was like going up and in like a spiral into like the Russian spaceship and then you just spun all the way down. No upside down, just just a little dizzy. Just a little dizzy. <laughs> We've been to this actual country before. Greece! Look, there's the buildings with the blue domes. The blue dome. Why wouldn't it be right next to the Epcot ball? This looks like a little mine cart ride instead of bobsled, but there's a bobsled coaster next door, so we're gonna do both of them, obviously. right there. Uh -huh. Just a snack. Just a little snack. How is it? Cheesy. Oh, 
very fun. This one looks pretty intense, but fun. It's a wooden roller coaster called Wooden. That ride was crazy. It was nuts. My hair was in my face. I couldn't see anything. My the rain kept hitting me in the eyeballs. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, oh! It started raining. <laughs> my butt was out of the seat. Oh my God, but it was really fun. Loved it. it I would do it one. again, <laughs> but we got like 98 more attractions to do, so. Yeah, and that was our longest wait. It was like 30 minutes, which is not bad Wonders at all. Wonders of Iceland. Oh, pretty. I love Iceland. Steven's going on the Blue Fire Mega Coaster, but uh, I'm good. <laughs> this one's a little, a little too big for Jesse. How was that? It was so intense. I started love the chair. Yeah. I know, you were flipping. It was crazy. Proud of you. Now for something a little on the calmer side again, the whale adventures. Nice. The captain. This ride is so pretty for a little boat ride. It's got the bright colors. Is it a game? Ah, fun. I love that every ride is seen with Christmas trees. Yes, are you ready? <laughs> Get him. Pop it! Oh no! The water's out! What just happened? It's supposed to be spraying water. Oh my god. I'm just on a relaxing boat right now. I don't have to work. <laughs> Our gun stopped working. Another snack, hot dog and a beer. Hot dog and a beer. This is just for funsies. Who did we get? Oh my god, it's summertime, Etta. I love her. Oh, how Barbie. She's so Barbie. I've always wanted to come to Norway. put the stuff in on the entrance of the ride and then at the exit of the ride, your stuff is there. I'm telling you, they got, they got some things figured out. Arthur was a solid ride. 
It's very fairy tale-esque. I think it's based on a movie. It was very cute. Very, very cute. There was an indoor and outdoor aspect to it. Look, ready? Here it comes. Yeah, lots of cool animatronics inside and then outside was just like a fairy tale forest. Really fun. We liked that one. And dangling feet, so lots of leg room lots for of Steven. Leg room. <laughs> Good for tall people. Yes, so we're on to the next land. I think we're leaving the fairy tale area and going over to, going France. to France. combination of uh, Space Mountain, the Mummy, Rock and Roller Coaster, and Spaceship Earth, because that's the one that's going on in the Epcot ball there. That one didn't go upside down or anything, it was just fast. Overall, these rides are so much fun. We've got about three hours left of the day, so let's just keep riding rides and see how many more we can do.
Oh, yeah. Ah! <laughs> Look at that. It looks familiar. Some describe the tenderest eyes done in here by love and Star roller coaster. So proud of you, Jess. I had, we both had no idea what that was, and it was just gigantic. It literally drops. was probably the tallest coaster. Huge <laughs> drops, like like up and down. But it, I mean, you just gotta surrender to the roller coaster. <laughs> it was a little scary, but there was a cool nice. breeze on my face. <laughs> oh my god, I gotta show you. It's so tall. You can't even tell in this video. But anyway, we did that and we have 45 minutes left. Ah, crowds. Where'd Steven go? He's going this way. We have 45 minutes left till the park closes. We went on that. Last ride of the night. All right, here we go, I one more. I can't believe we're at this point already. This has been such a fun day. Fastest eight hours ever. Here we go. Like Soren. Okay, that ride was literally Soren over Europe. Awesome. It was so awesome. They had everything from New Schweinstein Castle to Venice to Matterhorn. And there were so many similarities too. There were like the horses running, there was the golf ball, and at the end there was your local park with fireworks. So it was pretty much Soren like variant, which is so much fun. It was really good. I do have to say I do love the Epcot Soren song particularly, but this music was beautiful, just not as like distinguished, but we loved it. It was awesome. <laughs> it was really awesome. I think that was a really great finale. Ah, oh, so much fun. I love this part. Snopes in Germany. It snows in Germany. 
Snopes. Snopes? Yeah, Snope, S-N-O-A-P. Snopes. Which is snow, but soap. So. Which is what they use in Orlando, but Stay you know, clean. they need to, um, they need to make it snow here on command as well. And because we always have to get a magnet, there's our one little souvenir from Europa Park. You got it. There you go. That's My heart Europa Park. As an So you pay for parking after your day, and it only costs eight euros. This is just such a different system than we're used to. Very. And I like it. Steven was dreaming of burgers, so we got burgers for our post Europa Park meal. These are gonna slap. Steven has passed out from having too much fun at Europa Park. I had so much fun. I'm here. I think this light is too bright. I had the most fun. I had a great time. There you go. Is that all right? Yeah. Uh, all right, Europa Park. Let's talk about it. We'll recap it. Final thoughts. So... Yeah. Again, as avid theme park fans, we were excited to go here. And for me personally, I think it exceeded expectations. Yeah. Do you agree? I would say so. Over 100 attractions, and I think there was about 16 lands. Yeah, that's a lot. Mostly different countries, and each one had its own attractions, had its own rides. And we pretty much hit one of each country. Yeah. And we were a little bit worried because we had been told you need at least two days to go there which i think if you were looking to do more than just rides and you wanted to like go to nicer restaurants do shows like do the whole experience yeah it, like two days would be perfect but for us we just wanted to do rides a lot of the shows and stuff are in German or French anyway. Those are the primary languages. We don't speak German. And obviously, yeah, we don't really speak either language. So, I mean, of course the spectacle is always fun, but the rides were our focus and we did, 20. we went on 20 rides and we repeated one. So 21 rides in total during the operating hours of 11 a.m. to 7 p.m., which is not even like a full day. Yeah, it, they let you in the park <laughs> early, but everything doesn't open till 11 on the dot. Yeah. But if you make a mad dash, the piece of information that we got was to run as far out into the park as possible and then work your way in towards the entrance. Yeah, yeah, our two longest waits were 25 or 30 minutes and literally every other one was basically a walk on or under five minutes, which is insane. Right. It's insane to me that you can have that sort of um, theme park experience. So I would say overall, so like being a Disney girl, like comparing the two, I personally think like, I love like the Disney characters, the IPs, like the theming, the music, like that's what really gets me at Disney. However, I think like the guest experience here was just so much better. It was simple it was easy. and easy. Yeah. Like I didn't feel pressure. I didn't feel crowded or claustrophobic. Yeah. Like it was just enjoyable. And I felt like we just got to have fun together. Like we just got to run around and be in awe of these beautiful places. And I think I also kind of had this expectation that it was going to be one of those parks where I was like, oh, like this is cute. It's an off brand type theme park like it'll be hokey but i'll love it you know but it was legit like yeah. all of the lands were spectacularly detailed yeah. so i'm i'm just so impressed yeah. i thought it was amazing i gave it a 17 out of 10. it was amazing it's my favorite overseas park thus far so yeah it's a blast so okay <laughs> favorite attraction you can do a couple if you have a few yeah wooden mm -hmm. um <laughs> it was great which was great <laughs> That one was a notable one. The monorail in Luxembourg was great. It takes you, especially at night, it takes you around the park where you can see all the Christmas lights. And I really thought the uh, the ghost house, Haunted Mansion, you know, Europe always takes horror to 
another level. I'm it was gonna, disturbing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna <laughs> loop it in Europe as total because you know Phantom Manor and uh, Disneyland Paris is pretty haunting. But then when you go to this, this takes it to a whole another level. So. Yeah, I mean, it's terrifying. It's a little traumatic and, you know, disturbing. Yeah. And there's a six-year-old girl with her dad in the cart next to us. And I'm like, this is very different from, like, singing heads in a graveyard, which they had that, too. They so, did have the singing heads yeah. in a graveyard. There were so many Disney parallels. It was so on the nose. Yeah. And you would only know it if you were like a Disney fan. My favorite was the Pirates ride. That was phenomenal. Again, that was very similar to Pirates of the Caribbean. There was a drop in the ride and it yep. just, it was beautiful. The scenes were, you know, sort of similar, which I love that. I, it, cause it felt, it feels like going to another Disney park. Yeah. And I've been to all the Disney parks around the world. So this was so exciting for me because I'm like, it feels like I'm just going to another international park, but yep. it's not Disney, so. Um, I love that. And then, okay, so the Pirates ride was my favorite. I also loved the boat ride in Austria. Mm -hmm. That was yep. beautiful. It was just so pretty. Yeah, swan boat, kind of with the fountains, statues, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah, and then ugh, there's so many things. I love the monorail too. That would technically be my third. Um, but I think the bobsleds oh, yeah. in Switzerland were so much fun. Yeah. But, yeah. Yeah, because those aren't on an actual track. You're literally just on, you know, the... Uh, a bobsled. You're on a bobsled and you're in this little, you know, tunnel looking like tube things and you're just going. It also know? totally felt like Roller Coaster Tycoon. Like, I don't know if you guys have played Roller Coaster Tycoon, but there were so many similarities. Um, just like the wooden coasters and the bobsled coasters. The Globe Theater that plays like 3D the shows Globe and Theater. stuff, you know. And, and the, you know. like the monorails, there was like a monorail that looks similar to the Disney one, but then there was one with the little overhead, like the Luxembourg one you're talking about. Textbook roller coaster tycoon thing. Yeah. But so fun. And the Christmas decorations were amazing. They were doing a combination of Halloween and Christmas. So it was just like, it was amazing. Like it was... <laughs> it was just such a great day. We 17 out of 10. 17 That's all I gotta say. 10. 17 out of 10. Yes. Calling it. Calling it. That's so, it. Thank you for watching this vlog. I hope you loved it as much as we loved experiencing it. This vlog is dedicated to Steven's dad, Jim, because he's a big theme park fan. Hey, Dad. <laughs> and I kept him in mind while making this video, so shout out to Dad. We had such a good time, and... I just, I'm so thankful we decided to go to Europa Park. So thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.